All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's episode, we're going to look at the tank, um, see if there's anything gone wrong or gone good with it. Uh, we're also going to see did the Pico tank actually survive? Did I get rid of it? Did I, did I actually quit the Pico tank challenge or did I carry it on and persevere with it? And also, I've upgraded uh, my. Um, Vortec, my MP10 Vortec, and what I mean, I upgraded it. Basically, it's the Quiet Drive um, one, but it was the older version where it wasn't uh, Mobius compatible. But basically, what you could do was you could buy um, a uh, module, like a, an RF module, and you basically take it out of the the back of the um, of the original one. You take the microchips out of it, and then you replace it with this new module. And then basically what it does is it gives you the options then of being able to control it. And what I'll do is I'll show you um, my settings uh, of what I'm running the uh, the Wave Maker at now. Um, it's so easy, really easy to do, really easy to set up. So I didn't really go into it um, and didn't really film it because there's no real need to. There is other videos on there on YouTube anyway that will show you if you wanted to uh, head over and check it out. But really so simple you just take the chip microchip out put the other one in put the uh, uh, put it back on the 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 lid back on and basically you just uh go onto the mobius download it download the mobius app um and then you need to create an account if you've not already got an account and then it's just basically straightforward straightforward instructions from there so it's so so easy but what i'll do later on is in the video i'll show you my actual setup of what I'm running the uh, the uh, the MP10 and the MP10, as you know, it's at the back, just there. So it's at the back, uh, the back of the wall. Talking about the back of the wall, if you uh, look at the back here, eh, I've said before in the past videos, I've never had much luck really. Well, I, I won't say it's luck. I'll just say I've just never got like tons of uh, coralline algae on the back wall. Don't know why that is, but as you can see tons of new spots all on it now now obviously our coralline algae can grow if you've got higher uh, magnesium but I also i think it's just because you know if you have uh, like my uh, where is it it's somewhere about my urchin they i believe used to go around and uh, basically take uh, the cal you know the 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 calcium deposit off the back of it um off the back wall but as you can see i've got tons coming on that back wall now all of a sudden and like i said guys i've never had any never it's all on this flag rack as well all calcium all um coralline algae i don't really like it to be truthful because uh, it does take up a lot of uh your um, calcium your magnesium and uh, alkalinity and stuff so but yeah just find it strange that all of a sudden it started to come um but that back wall is completely clear of algae uh, and it's down to these snails which i've said before these snails here sorry about my voice guys i've got a bit of a sore throat again um but yeah basically it's down to them as you can see we've got loads of asterinas uh, i've got i do go out and i take them i take them out and we've got hundreds upon hundreds of little starfish uh in the tank but heading on to the tank guys everything is doing really good really happy with the way things are growing uh done a bit more fragging of the uh of the corals this little piece here of monte this i found underneath the bubble coral it must have felt and i've not realized as you can see I've put it back on the uh on the rack maybe it might spread maybe it might survive but you know maybe not uh these <laughs> these bbb's um zoas as well if i can focus there these guys were fell fell down the back the back of the tank just near that cyan arena completely didn't even think didn't even see them and then lo and behold picked them up again and they're doing really really good so you know i don't know how i miss them actually because they're one of my favorite zoos um, but yeah the um, anemone which is being a pain as you can see this uh, i'm going to move this because it's, i think it's going to be stung and the sweeper tentacles of this hollywood stunner guys I've said before, an absolutely massive, they're about four to six inches in the evening, and I'm thinking it's actually stinging it, so I'm gonna move that later on. 
Um, I'm just going to put it maybe on the floor or down down on the uh, on the on the floor somewhere um, if I can find space. And yeah, we'll leave it we'll leave it there for the time being because it's a shame and I don't want to uh, I don't want to lose that one for sure. So we'll figure out a place for it. What I do want to say is about these SPS, just continue to keep growing, especially this blueberry one. I think it's a blueberry uh, acropora of this, grow more and more tips. The, uh, uh, my Aggie Tart, this one, looking a bit dull, but as you can see, a few white tips all growing on it. Now it's a strange one, I don't really know why, as all the others. They're all growing all new tips. New tips there on this Millipora. New tips on this uh, Acropora at the back. And then we have this yellow, the yellow one that's uh, doing really, really good as well. So they're all, they're all growing, they're all doing their own thing. Uh, what I did want to say is this uh, PC Rainbow, if I can focus, is looking really, really good as well. So. Yeah, overall, pretty happy with the way everything's going with uh, the Acroporas. Um, the Euphilias, they're just they just do their own thing. These are just these just love the flow. They just love the uh, the way the settings are on these gyros, for sure. So I'm really happy that the yeah that they're happy. And they're just taking off. So overall, you can't really go wrong with Euphilias as long as you've dipped them and. You know, you look after it and, they, you know, make sure that there's no flat worms or anything in them. You should be good to go. And then we've got the huge monster crab. That The crab is way too big, small, sorry, for its shell. And he's just on there. This is a huge, huge shell on this tiny crab's body. So, don't know where he's, uh, don't know why he's got that shell. Because there is loads of other shells in this tank. But maybe he's just not, not found it. This... Mushroom is stunning. Absolutely love this mushroom. The colours of it are, are fantastic. Really, really nice colours on this. Then we have the Goniapora Island, which is thriving. Absolutely love this Goniapora Island. It's growing really, really quick. Then we have the Montipora Rock, the clams. We have the Rainbow Chalice as well. So everything, like I said, guys, I, I go over it all the time, and uh, you know everything seems to be doing really, really good. So, yeah, not much really to talk about on the uh, on the tank. But the big question is, did I keep? Well, did I keep the uh, the Pico tank challenge going? And the question to that, guys, is I certainly did. So as you can see, I managed to fix all the problems, and I've added all the, a lot of the zoas that I want to add into it anyway. They've all come into it. But in the meantime, what I found was I found an Aptasia. Well, I didn't even know where that has come from. Because, like I said, this was all new rock. But when it was seeded in my tank, I think it might have latched onto it. A little tiny one there. So I'm going to get some of I've got some Aptasia X. I'm going to shove that in. I added this GSP in only yesterday. And it's already come out. Now, what I do, guys, on this is I've decided that I'm doing two two water changes a week um, like I said it's not much is it so two little water changes a week I just run a bit of, bit of floss in the top on the first section and I've got two bio balls in the actual uh, the actual chamber but yeah I, I just thought to myself should I close it should, well, you know with the stress of it all I was just like getting worked up with it all but you know what everybody's doing it and I thought you know what let's just carry it on let's just try it out and uh, see if we can succeed and like I said these always they're doing really good in here, so the water quality must be pretty decent. And yeah, like I said, it's uh, I'm really happy with the way with the way it's turning out. So we'll figure out a few other little corals that can go in it out my tank, and we'll see we'll see where it goes. But overall, guys, I'm pretty impressed that I've, I've managed to keep it. And uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes from here. But yeah, heading heading on to the the next uh, topic. And that was the controller. Like I said, I run three controllers in my tank. There's the um, the Vortec, and as you can see, it's on a different um, mix, uh, mixture of waves. So what I'll do is, in a minute, I'll uh, show you exactly what my settings are, 
and how the app actually works on uh, for me. But we'll show you the chip that it came. And as you can see, this is the uh, the RF module chip. Um, this is the one that I took out. So basically, guys, this one is all, was already in the, uh, the 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 Vortec anyway, but it wasn't Mobius compatible. So what you do is you basically open it up, and this is the chip. This is the chip that you get. And like I said, it's just a, a microchip that basically these prongs go into. Just basically slot in, and it goes like that. And that's how it goes. Basically, like that. And basically, that's all you do. You just basically slot it in the grooves with these prongs, and it's done. And then what it does is it gives you the ability to be able to get, log onto the Mobius app. And, and basically control it and you can set up different waves whereas without the Mobius app you could only control the uh, re the the, um, the control you could only put one setting on so you could only put like say the reef crest or you could put constant or you could put you know uh, reef mold you could only put one on whereas with this Mobius you can actually uh, change the alternating uh, patterns so what I'll do guys is I'll quickly just show you exactly what I mean and uh, yeah, you'll be able to you'll be able to see it. So stay tuned, guys. Yeah, so here we go, guys. Um, this is basically the Mobius app. Like I said before, you have to put that microchip in, um, and then basically it just take takes it from the normal standard one to be able to control it via the Mobius. And it's a lot bit easier when you can be able to control it. You can put different. Uh, different um, wave um, motions on all through the day so what I'll do is I'll quickly show you on this this is the dashboard that you'll get over on the devices these uh, where it says all and then there's three other dashes these are for lights wave makers and I think that is return pumps so obviously we've just got the the wave maker but I just have it on all and it just basically clearly shows you then you go back to dashboard and where it's go it says vortex mp10 you press on that and that basically brings my my pump that's up and running. When you press the edit, this is my uh, basically customization mode, what, what I've basically done. So as you can see, there's five, six different modes that I'm going to be doing. So briefly going over it, I run the reef crest mode, which is basically from 23, 11 o'clock till 8 in the morning. And I only run it at 30% speed. Basically, I don't want the fish being blown about all through the night when they're ready when they're settling down then we move on to from 8 p.m 8 a.m sorry to 11 a.m we run at 50 percent on the constant speed mode then we move from 11 a.m to 2 30 and basically this is the expanding pulse so this is just more of a pulse mode it's, it's on for one second and then off for one second on for one second off for one second and that runs at 60 percent and then we move on to the gyro mode Gyro is self-explanatory. It's exactly the same as the other two that I've got. Then we run on short pulse mode. So this is more of a short pulse, so there isn't any back, so that you don't get any uh, like the other one. Just basically run this at seventy-five percent one second, seventy-five percent one second. Basically, just keeping it doing like that. And then we run the nutrient transport mode. It clearly see, it says what what it basically does. So, it, like it says, it says in this mode, water circulated in a two phase program to promote health, coral growth, and nutrient export. So, it's basically telling you exactly what it is. So, I'll run that thirty percent, and then we go back on to the mo to the reef crest mode all the way through the night. So, it's it's really really easy to set up. Really, uh, you know, and if you're a bit struggling, you can go to the templates. And these are the templates that they've already made. You've got the um, AB Plus. You've got this PHX14. So if you press it, it basically tells you like what it's all about. And then you have the LPS Softy. So that's for more, obviously, LPS Softy tanks, I assume. And then Radiant Colour. So it basically just, you could do that if you want. Or there's my, the ones that I've saved, which is the first template, which I've just uh, said and just shown you. So basically you cancel, you go back, and then you go back again, and you're back onto the navigation on the first page. So like I said, guys, it's so simple, so easy to set up. I'm really, really happy with the way it is. So yeah, we'll take a look at the tank before we end. So yeah, 
Hopefully you find that interesting. Yeah, so like I said, guys, that's basically my new gyro stroke, you know, new pump um, uh, molds and stuff like that. Like I said, I'm really impressed with 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 it. With it. You know, it's uh, it does its thing, does exactly what it says it should do, and I was so happy that it actually worked in that quiet drive for sure. Well, like I said, this is a uh, just a bit quick, quick one for sure. Well, I always say that, like I say, quick what, quick video. Hope you like it. If you did like it, click the like. If you've not already subscribed, if you want like and subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget, leave your comments below. I always reply to every single one of you. And once again, thanks for following me on this journey, guys. So if I don't see you on the next live stream, I'll see you on the next video. So take care, guys, and happy reefing. Cheers.